think we're okay. Yo, what's up? Joe Rowe here, and um, it's going to be an awesome night tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be checking out new music. Um, we're going to be doing some giveaways. Got a special guest. And um, it's just going to be fire. So I am going to tell you right now, this is a live you're going to want to share. Um, so, hey, what's up, Kaylin? You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to share this. So, hey, Stephen. Hey, everybody that's, that's joined. Um, we're gonna be some doing some really really cool stuff. All right. Um, and I got the other dudes in Seven Day Slumber getting ready to pop in. They're actually taking care of. We've been recording a new record for those of you that, um, that, that haven't heard yet. Um, so I think that the text. Some of you got a text from. Uh, Go ahead and write down if you got a text from me. Uh, I tried to write a lot of you guys back, um, but it was uh, it was hard to write everybody back because we text like a, just a bunch of people. Um, so if you got a text from me, cool, I did, got it. Okay, so I sent you that text, um, and but I think the text was a little misleading, and I want to clarify. So we're working on a new album. We're not giving away the new album that we're just now working on. We're giving away our Death by Admiration album. Uh, it's like a Death by Admiration um, kit, a DBA kit. So basically in there, it's going to have uh, the new record. Uh, it's Death by Admiration, which is still our new record, but we're working on a new record. And I'm going to let you hear some of that new record tonight. Um, but uh, that's what we're giving away. It's going to be the high quality wave file some of you already have it but what you don't have is also in that link is new music from another artist and also um our high quality files for closer to chaos with a really cool lyric book in there um a pdf lyric books got all the lyrics and the writers and everybody else and we're also going to be giving away um, the Redline album, which has got featuring Disciple on Hunger Strike, um, the the song that we released um, years ago, and it ended up uh, it got pulled down for a while, and I'm not sure why. But anyway, you'll be able to get that, and you're gonna get the high quality. Now, when I'm talking about high quality, I'm not talking about MP3s. Okay, I'm talking about the actual wave files that. Um, no one has gotten from us before unless like you pre-ordered the death by admiration album and you were on our email list. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to hook you up with that. Um, but we're going to get, we're going to get all that's Yeah, it's cool. A lot of you got that text. Great. Great. Well, I tried to write anybody. Did anybody get my, me, my reply back? I sent like a heart and a pound it back. Uh, to a lot of you guys. And then I responded, some of you had personal messages and I responded back to the personal um, messages. But uh, I try to respond to everybody, but it's hard. So when you see a text from me, just know that I sent out like a bunch of them and that I always try to get them, get them like respond back to you. Like I'm seeing them as they're coming back. So when you write me back, I can see that you wrote me back. Um, it's just so if I don't write you back, it's not that I'm trying to ignore you or whatever. It's just that I got a ton of those, right? So, um, so cool. Uh, so check this out. Go ahead and share this, and then I'm gonna give you a way to get this um, this new music. Everybody's gonna get it. Everybody who's watching me right now, you're gonna get it. Okay, everybody wins. You get a whale. You get a car. You get a. A whale? I'm not sure if uh, Oprah gave away any whales. I'm not sure. Um, a humpback whale. You get a humpback whale. But anyway, um, so, but I'm also going to let you hear some music that we have not released before. I let some of y'all hear it um, on my personal page, right? And um, from what I understand, y'all were feeling it. And then on my live before, 
I let some of y'all hear it, and um, and it was not finished. It was a demo version, um, which this is still a demo version. What I'm going to let you hear is still a demo vi version because we're going to have a really cool feature on this song. And I'm not going to tell you who the feature is, but our new album, well, our album that's been out six months is called Death by Admiration. Um, thank you guys so much. You you helped us to hit the Billboard Top 200, um, and you um, helped us to reach Top 30 on Billboard Rock and Metal, um, and then number three on Billboard on the Christian um, releases. And so... I'm getting, uh, I, that's, that's all you guys. That's all you, you support in seventh day slumber. We got some big tour announcements coming up, uh, that y'all haven't seen yet. So I have not posted some of the tour announcements, but, um, but I'm going to say this. Um, I'm, that's my dog making loud noises in the background. There he is. He just walked in here. So if you hear, <gasps> that's Capone and Capone is over here next to me. That's good boy. Capone. He's an English bulldog. And then I have another dog, um, and his name is Gunther. And he's a French bulldog. So Capone's little feet are walking. You'll see him walking out now. Well, he's under the radar. Under the radar, dog. So anyway, um, I'm just waiting on uh, Blaze to... He'll be in here in a few minutes. Um, but we got about 150 people watching right now, which is great. Um, and some of you are watching... Some of you may say, well, there's only like 15 people watching where I'm at. It's because you're. this is streamed to YouTube, Twitter, um, streaming on uh, Seventh Day Slumber's Facebook page, streaming on Joe Rose's Facebook page, streaming on the Rockfest Records Facebook page as well. So they're um, combined, um, they're, the number keeps going up. There's um, about 150. Now we're going up to almost 200. Um, so make sure you share this because I'm getting ready to give every anybody you share this to is going to get the free albums, right? And and I'm going to ask you to do me a favor too. I'm going to give you those free albums, our Closer to Chaos album. I'm going to give you the high quality wave files, so it's going to be as clear the like you would like we would get back from a mastering facility. I'm giving that to you tonight. So um, so anyway, I'm going to give you that for. Closer to Chaos, Seven Day Slumber's Closer to Chaos album. I'm giving it to you for our new album, Death by Admiration. It's gonna, they're gonna both come with these really cool lyric books that you'll be able to click. Um, and um, and so, I think another thing about sharing this is that there's a really powerful message in the this music, and a lot of you know that. A lot of you that have followed Seven Day Slumber know mm -hmm. that there's a powerful message in the music, and so maybe. If you share this, you may have somebody who maybe is not, you know, not down with Jesus and, um, but they love rock music and, you know, maybe, maybe it's not even rock music that they love. Maybe they're just down and out right now, going through a really difficult time. And, um, you don't have to, our song Halos that we just released, there are people that don't even listen to rock music or hard rock or metal. And they love this song because, it's dealing about losing a loved one and things left unsaid. And so, um, so anyway, uh, that's why I want you to share it. But, um, but anyway, I would also encourage you to like, I'm going to give you these records. They're going to be in this drop back box link. And there's going to be a song that we've never released before. That's not rock. It's like a kind of, it's a worship song. Now we released it once before, but not this version. This is a completely new version that we never ever released we just thought okay what in the time um so uh you're gonna be able to get that it's called branches and um it's gonna be in there and it's just a really worship it's a worship song and it was produced the whole thing was produced um by um a friend of ours kellen mcgregor so of memphis mayfire but he also does like this really cool vibey stuff and you'll be able to get that no we've never released it no one has ever heard this version and it's going to be in this link that I give you. Then a buddy of mine who I'm getting ready to bring on here in just a few minutes. He has a new EP coming August 26th. And I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. But I'm going to give you a sneak peek of his song. And we're going to debut his album cover on here. He's also our label mate on Rockfest Records. Okay. 
So uh, let me just read a couple things. Um, okay, cool. So I just found out um, that in order for this giveaway to work, you don't have to do it right now. You can do it after the live to get your giveaway. But in order for this giveaway to work, you're going to have to go on to our Instagram or Seventh Day Slumber's Facebook page. So if you're watching us from the Rockfest page, this will not work. Okay, you'll you you'll have to be on Seventh Day Slumber's page, um, or yeah, on Seventh Day Slumber's page. So, um, but don't worry about hopping off now. You can do this later because I'm going to leave this available for ever okay so when i give you this code that you're going to be able to do this you're going to be able to do it forever so don't feel like you need to hop off right now this is going to be yours this link's going to work forever <clears throat> and i would encourage you to share it with other people maybe a friend who like i said is struggling going through a different uh, a difficult time um and so yeah we got a bunch of people watching this is great um okay well here's what i want to do first of all um I want to, um, I think I'm still waiting on my guys. I'm waiting on Weston and Blaze um, to come in here, and they will be in just a second. But I'm going to read some of your messages. God bless you, brother. Looking forward to all your music. Let me just, let me add that to the broadcast. Whoa, that's big. Uh, God bless you, uh, brother. Uh, looking forward to all of your music. Love hearing the new bands. It's hard nowadays to find good music and artists. Hey, dude, thank you so much. Um Tina Foster says, hello from Maine. What's up? Uh, Amanda Mueller says, is it Matt Sasato? Come on, Amanda. Um, Stephen Kenner, Kenimer says, your music is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, uh, when's all the new... Uh, news from Rockfest coming out. Oh, okay. So we've got some. So for those of you that are just now tuning in, um, obviously this is Seventh Day Slumber, but we're on several different pages. So you may be watching us on another page. Um, and so at the end of the day, um, what you need to know is that Seventh Day Slumber also, we also um, started a record label. And the record label is called Rockfest Records. You may have heard of it and not known that it was Seventh Day Slumber that started that label. That's us. Um, Fire Flight is on our record label. The Letter Black is on our record label. Uh, the Protest, Gold Frankincense and Myrrh, GFM. Um, we've got Relent is on that label. Amongst the Giants, Matt Sassano is on that uh, label. Uh, Living Scars is on that record label. Who am I forgetting? Um, Seventh Day Slumber is on Rockfest Records, and uh, and so we're partnered with Universal Music Group and Capitol Records. Uh, just so you know, so when someone says, "When's all the Rockfest news coming out?" is like uh, that that's what they're talking about. We we own a record label, but Seventh Day Slumber has a bunch of new music coming out. I'm gonna let you hear some of it right now. Hey, Blaze Dog. Ooh, Blaze Dog. What's that shirt say? Oh, it doesn't say nothing. It says a statement. It's uh, Shrek. That's Shrek. You making Shrek. a statement? Oh, I'm making a statement. Well, who else we got in here? Uh oh, uh oh. What'd you bring a friend? Yeah, I got Gunther. Let's see Gunther real quick. Oh man, we got a contest for this little guy. All right. Where you want to give him away? No, give him pictures of him. You enter by taking a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Take a screenshot right now. <laughs> All right, everybody, take a screenshot of this. Here we go. Take a. Take here's the screenshot. You gotta have all of us in the screenshot. One, two. Okay, that's the screenshot. You can go back and watch it, and we'll do a giveaway with that screenshot. Okay. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give away T-shirts for um. I'm gonna give away T-shirts and actual physical copies and CDs. Um, if uh, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick like ten winners. So if you screenshotted that, or if you go back and screenshot it later, then you. You got to post it on Instagram and Facebook and tag us and say, um, yeah, you, you got to follow Gunther and Capone. That's my wife in the background. Uh, so, so Lori, if, since they got to follow Gunther and Capone, why don't you go ahead and put their Instagram down in the comments. All right. 
So you can follow Gunther. Okay, yeah, follow. All right, we'll figure out that anyway. Anyway, so screenshot that, and then I'll tell you a giveaway. And I'm going to give away 10 shirts, 10 CDs, all of it signed, some drumsticks, whatever. I'm going to hook you up. All right? But right now, I need to let y'all hear new music, okay? We've been on here 15 minutes, and it's time for music. It is time. And then I'm going to bring a guest on here, okay? And then we're going to do more music because that's what we do here. Um, so what I'm going to try to figure out is... This should play, this should play through, not just through my microphone, but we're going to find out, okay? So we have, we're working on new, uh, new music. How many songs would you say, Weston, that you have written? Five, six, maybe seven? Six, maybe seven. Something like that. So what we're going to be doing is, because, um, because... Our fans love our worship stuff and they love our rock stuff. We have just released our Death by Admiration album, like I said, which is doing really well. Top 30 on Billboard Rock and Metal, um, all that. But we want to release an EP. Um, well, we want to release a full album, okay, called Feasting on Vultures. Everybody say this out loud. Feasting on Vultures. I don't care if you're in the middle of a grocery store. It's important that you say it. Feasting on, Feasting on Vultures. All right. That's the name of Seventh Day Slumber's new album. It may actually end up being an EP. And then we're going to drop a worship album that we already have in the can, which in the can means it's already done. So then we may drop um, half of that worship album. And then after that, come back and drop the full deluxe Feasting on Vultures. And then after that, come back and drop the full worship album which you're gonna love that worship album so feasting on vultures i'm gonna let you hear it right now um this is not the finished song by the way okay the vocals are still demo vocals but the music we uh and there's production that needs to be done but you're gonna get the just of it okay but i'm gonna read the lyrics to you and then we're gonna go ahead and play the song um the lyrics of the song how do i get lyrics up Oh, there they are. So the lyrics of the song are going to go like this. Uh, so Feasting on Vultures is just about all those haters. All of your haters that drank the haterade. They can't stand you. They're just hanging around waiting on you to die. Every time you make a mistake. Every time you mess up. Every time. Oh, hey, we got Relent on here right now. I was just talking about Relent. Um, so big shout out to, to Miggy. He, was, uh, he plays... Uh, he sings for Relent. He also plays in the band Il Nino, if you guys um, oh, I know that. ever heard of Il Nino. So yeah. there's Miggy right there waving um, with a brown hand. Um, <laughs> it's important to note. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I love you, Miggy. I need to get you on here for an interview. But anyway, um, so check this out. Um, it's about the haters, people that wait on you to die. Every mistake you make, they can't wait. They're praying on your downfall. But what they don't know is that greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world, that God is on my side, and I'm going to be feasting on vultures tonight, right? So uh, I got my eyes on you. Mm -hmm. While you're trying to think, and I'm the prey, nah, dog, we're coming at you, and we're going to be eating just big old vulture bone. Yeah. All right, let me read the lyrics to you. It says, uh, crawled my way from the bottom of the pit again. It's over now and I won't look down. Starving all of the vultures that are circling with eyes on me thinking I'm the prey. You can call it business, make it personal. It's all the same. They're selling off their morals for the next big thing. Stand up tall and hold your head up high. I've felt the pain that I see in your eyes. Wipe your tears and get ready for the fight because we will be feasting on vultures tonight. All right. And the second verse goes, pulling knives from the middle of my back again while stitching up all these open cuts. I've come to realize I'm fighting for my sanity, but I've got to let go of this hate that grows. Because sometimes we start getting bitter, start feeling that hate. And it says, um, yeah, then the chorus again uh, it says, stand up tall, hold your head up high. I felt the pain that I see in your eyes. Wipe your tears, get ready for the fight because we'll be feasting on vultures tonight. And then um, we're not sure about this. We, you can tell us whether we should leave this in or not. But we have a bridge part um, that 
uh, you just hear me whisper. It's a demo. My vocals are demos, so don't like judge me for how I sang it because we don't even know. And then Weston did a big scream. All right. So we're going to let you hear that. And we're going to ask you your opinion. Uh, we're actually letting you determine whether we keep that in there or not or get a feature in there or what. But it here's what's in there so far. It says, they've taken a part of me. Now I'm not scared to bleed. Bring on the enemy. I'm ready for anything. And they will betray you, but don't let them break you. They'll try to erase you. But tonight we make our stand. All right. So now, uh, now you have uh, read the lyrics. Now I'm gonna try to get this to play in a in a fashion that um, that you can actually hear it. Okay. So you guys got to give me a thumbs up if you're hearing it. Okay. And, um, on vultures man that's what i want you to do i want you to do a um a screenshot of that little dog situation um uh, and uh i want you to put two hashtags i want you to put hashtag feasting on vultures and then hashtag seventh day slumber and then hashtag new music. All right. Um, but you also got to follow Capone and Gunther. Um, or I don't even care if you if you post that uh, picture. 
If you post that picture, just tag us um, and say something cool about us. All right. How about that? Just post, just screenshot that picture of us and Gunther, and uh, and then um, I'm, all I'm asking is that you say something nice about us, tag us, but also follow follow. What is their Instagram, Lori? Okay, Mob Dog Capone. You'll find it, and then it'll have Gunther on there too. If you search Mob Dog Capone on Instagram, okay. So for all of you with Instagram, if you follow them, we're gonna see all the new follows, and that'll give you another chance to win, okay. Yeah. So make sure you screenshot us, tag us on Instagram, follow Capone. You got to follow, be following Mob Dog Capone as well. Um, and it's Mob Dog Capone and Gunther, I think. But you'll just do a search for Mob. We'll put it in the link, the, their Facebook, Instagram. Um, all right. And then I'm going to, somebody's going to win a t-shirt. And somebody's going to win. Um, yeah. And somebody's going to win a CD. We're going to pick 10 winners. I'm going to just give, I'm actually... 10 people are going to win t-shirts, CDs, and drumsticks, and I'm going to throw some extra stuff in there. All right, here's also what I want you to do real quick. I'm getting ready to bring a friend of mine on right now. Um, and let me see how to do this. Booyah! Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Weston, you may have to scoot over to get more into this. This is Matt Sasano, everybody. Everybody say, what's up, Matt Sasano? Hey, hey so Matt... who you were bringing on so shout out to amanda yeah yeah absolutely shout out to amanda um i just turned you up a little bit so check this out so here's uh what i want people to do because um you have a new record coming out and i'm going to give them a chance right now to get all the new seventh day slumber the death by admiration album our closer to chaos album our red line album they're going to get all of it through uh the high quality wave files I already gave them a chance to win t-shirts and physical CDs, which that's by taking the screenshot of us with the dog and then yeah. writing something nice about us, tagging us, and then following Mob Dog Capone. But uh, that'll give them extra chances to win if they do all those things. But this is something cool because what I did is you have a new single coming out July 29th. What's that single called? It's called Dear God, man. I'm really stoked about it. What's and that single? So I so uh, the single is just basically about that time in my life uh, when I was at my lowest, you know, and I, I struggled with a lot of depression due to some of the disabilities that I had faced. And really, uh, and also um, in my family situation, a lot of people may not know my father was a preacher and then but behind the scenes uh, had a lot of abusive behavior going on in the family. And so a lot of my teen years and early 20s even was trying to sift what the fake from the real and dear god i used to write letters to god um asking him what his purpose for my life was and um you know to make something of my life trying to make sense of all these different components in my life and so dear god just goes out to anybody that is in that time of trying to figure out the, the fake from the real and who god really is man uh, well, I've seen the music video, and since the music video is not coming out till like next month, I can't leak that. But I'm gonna leak right. something of yours, and uh, and I'm <laughs> and, I, and I just I I feel like it's gonna be uh, something that um, that people are gonna love, and it's not gonna hurt your album sales, although it may, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, we're excited anyway, right? Yeah. So July, but it's all about helping people, right? Isn't that the thing? That's what we're doing. And yeah. so, so your new single comes out, your EP, you have a full EP coming out. Yes. Yep. yep. Um, should I leak the title of that yet? Or, or can we? Yeah, no, no, no. Don't, on. don't leak the title of that, but it comes, but you do have a full EP. How many songs are on that? Okay. We're going to do five songs on this particular EP. Yeah. So really going to be good high quality stuff and i think like joe was saying music with a huge message to it and i think you guys will relate and resonate so you have some heavy hitters on this um like your producer um mm -hmm. and it, it, like come on share about that all right man so i started recording with josiah prince down at the ranch and uh, we went in with the original five songs and everything we had like five songs lined out and as we went the ep began to change and kind of take shape um dear god was one of the ones that we did pre-plan on but like i would say um 
maybe three, three of the five, of the five songs, songs that we had we had planned to put on this EP um, changed, and so uh, now I'm really liking it better. I feel like it's some of the most emotional and um, just heartfelt stuff that I've ever written in my life. And so I'm super excited with how it turned out. And, you know, it really showed that God was in this uh, writing process as well, because, um, you know, as I was writing it, like I didn't have, like there's a song called Not My Name about people with disabilities. That was just off the cuff. And then a bunch of the songs that just kind of like were revealed to me as we were in this creative process. So I was, you know, it's just super awesome. Can you tell Josiah, people? Can, yeah. Can you tell people about? So Josiah, for those of you that don't know, Josiah Prince is the guitar player and one of the one of the main songwriters for Disciple, the band Disciple. Yes. Any Disciple fans out there? Um, yeah. But also, Kellen McGregor mixed uh, as well on this record. Kellen McGregor of Memphis Mayfire um, mixed as well as another man by the name of Matt Arcaney, and. Um, and so you've had some heavy hitters on this record. Yeah, and, and it's really cool because um, not only are there going to be five brand new songs on it, but speaking of Josiah, um, he's actually featured on one of the of the songs as far as vocally. So it was really cool to be able to team up with him and just like I wrote one verse for the, the song and, and then um, a chorus and everything. And I just let him rip on the second verse. So I was like, dude, whatever you want to bring to this song, just bring it. And he's like, all right, I'm going to say something 10 times as absurd as you. And we're just going to make this awesome. And so we, we teamed up and I really am excited about that collaboration with Josiah. It was cool. Well, man, I'm excited too. So here's what I did. Um, so your Dear God song, I'm going to leak it tonight, dude. Oh, <laughs> so so um, but here i'm not just gonna leak your dear god song because i if i put it on facebook because it's already cap it's already in the capital ecosystem if i put it yeah. on like i just did feasting on vultures and it doesn't get blocked because that's no one's ever heard it's not even been uploaded anywhere yet so people right. that got to hear that tonight is is on but i'm gonna let them download your your song dear god before it ever even comes out but i'm gonna ask all of y'all to do me a favor here's how you get it okay all you're gonna do is send me a message you can send me a messenger right now or in a second but you're gonna get seven day slumbers records that i told you you were gonna get even the the song branches that's no one's ever heard before for this version of it because we've never released it it's on there but i also put a folder in there called matt sasano and in there you can click on there and you will hear his song before anybody has had an opportunity to hear it, except for those that have come to, uh, Matt was on tour with us a couple of different times and he played it on tour, but you're going to be able to listen to it. So here's all you got to do to get it, to get all of this stuff that I told you about. Send me a message on Instagram or, I mean, I'm sorry, on Facebook, Seventh Day Slumbers Facebook, or you could send it on Seventh Day Slumbers Instagram. It doesn't matter. But, um, it's S you're going to send the message SDS rocks, all one word, like seventh day slumber for SDS, uh, not students for a democratic society. Okay. So it's, it's SDS rocks with an S SDS rocks. Just message us that on Facebook. You can do that. Some of you, I don't want you to get off of here to do that unless you can do both of it. Huh? You can even write it. Yeah. Oh, write it in the comments right here. Dang. Yeah. I just keep getting these messages. Yeah. Write it in the comments right here. SDS rocks. Okay. So go ahead and do that and tell me if you got, if you got my little surprise. Okay. It's got to be one word. It's got to, no, it can be two words on Facebook, but it has to be one word on Instagram. But if you're commenting right here, it's got to be, uh, yeah, you can do it one or two words. Doesn't matter on here. So, a bunch of people writing SDS Rocks, SDS Rocks. You're going to get that link, and it's going to have all of those things in there. Make sure you um, let me know if y'all actually got the link once you wrote SDS Rocks. Sorry, my buddy Christian, who is works for Rock Best Records, is on here. Um, and he's texting me because uh, he's helped me set all of this stuff up. I've got a team of people. Uh, shout out. 
to uh, Christian Santiago. Shout out to uh, Austin P. Wageman, who's our A&R. Shout out to Kristen, mm. who's our executive director. Shout out, man, shout out to Lori, who handles our finances. Shout out to our whole graphics department. Shout out to all of you. We love you. And, uh, yeah, everybody at Rockfest Records. Um, Y'all have done an amazing job on Matt Sassano, uh, with Matt Sassano, and also with the new Seventh Day Slumber and all the other bands that we have. Uh, just heard some new Relent the other day, which um, I can't, I'm, I'm kind of done saying that right now because that's going to be another time. But what I want you to do is you're going to see that Matt Sassano, that there's a folder in that thing. Okay, got it. Okay, people are saying they got it. Great, 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 great. Got the link. Cool. So in that link is all that stuff I told you you were going to get. The highest quality that you can get of a Seventh Day Slumber record. So I gave that to you by Death by Admiration. And they're not just any WAV file, W-A-V. They're not just any W-A-V file. These are straight from the mastering facility. So it's, when you listen to it, it's going to sound different than an MP3. It's going to sound different than if you were streaming it. Um, although I do still want you to stream Seventh Day Slumber Music. But that's what I was going to say about Matt Sassano. So mm -hmm. I'm giving you Matt Sassano's song before it ever even comes out. I'm asking you not to post it everywhere, please. Um, but because we, because I'm going to ask you to do this, I'm going to have my team put another link right now. And I'm going to ask you as a favor to all of us right here, um, to follow, to pre-save Matt's new single, dear God, that I'm giving you right now. It's in there. So I don't, I want you to listen to it because I want, it's a powerful song. And we have some really amazing stuff coming in the in the near future with Matt Sassano that you you definitely need to stand. The, the video it was done by Joel Burris at ADT Media. Uh -oh. Whew, that video, yeah. tell it. Oh well, well, real quick because I want you to tell us about that video. Real quick, what I want you to do is make sure I'm gonna have my team post that link right now in the comments, and I'm asking you as a favor, and I'm asking you as a friend to make sure that you pre-save this and follow Matt Sassano. So this pre-save link will allow you to not only pre-save the song, Dear God, but it's going to allow you to pre-save his whole EP. The song, Dear God, comes out in just a couple of weeks, um, but the EP comes out August 26th, and the music video comes out in August. So when you pre-save, and somebody's going to put this link in, has anybody seen that link? Austin, if you're watching, oh, there it is. Kristen just posted the link. There it is. It says um, found.ee Matt Sassano. It's in the comments right now. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what it looks like, but I need someone else to copy it and paste it, and let's get this thing going in the in the, in the the chat or in, in your chat. I know a lot of you are watching from different places, um, so um, that's why I want it in different chats because Kristen may have posted it in the Seventh Day Slumber chat, um, but... Uh, it, but I want other people, if you haven't, if you're not in seven day slumbers face on seven day slumbers, Facebook page, um, then okay. Pre-saved. Great. Yeah. Please pre-save that. And, and, and if you're, um, not able to pre-save it right now, make sure that you do pre-save it just as a favor to us. Um, it, you're gonna, um, you're gonna not only be able to to get this song when it comes out in two weeks, but great. Thank you guys for posting it in whatever chat you're in, uh, post that it's on seven day slumbers right now, but, um, but people are, are posting it in other places. Um, and you'll be able to also see that, um, tomorrow on set on, on Matt Sassano's, um, page. He's going to have that link up there so you can start pre-saving it. You heard it here first. It's not even going to be an announcement till tomorrow, but since you're watching this live, you get to see that. But, um, once again, we have, um, yeah. And if you pre-save already tonight, um, just go, we can see who pre-saves too. Like we have a bunch of, uh, the ability to go back and see who pre-saves and I'm going to pick 10 winners from the pre-saves as well. And I'm going to hook you up with a Matt Sassano t-shirt. 10 people are going to get a Matt Sassano t-shirt, um, and a signed poster from Matt. Matt, do you mind signing yeah, some, some posters? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That'd be awesome. awesome. And, and thank, thank you so, so much to everybody who shared the link and is trying to help get this out there, man. It's really, uh, it means a lot to me. And I really believe in the music and the message of this music. 
to to make some changes, man, in people's lives that need to hear it. So thank you for helping me. So in this, uh, I, I won't give too much away about the video because the video, what I will say is it was hard for me to watch without crying. <laughs> and yeah. like, I, I don't, I don't like, to, I don't like to cry, man. You know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. How did it's... you feel shooting the music video? It was, it was great, great, man. I mean, as, as far as just, I've done music videos in the past. I've, I've been in a few projects, you know, like locally and stuff, but none that ever really reflected my story in this type of way. You know what I mean? Like I have a special connection with this video in particular. Um, I've got to work with Joel Burris and his team. Uh, Jake Jones from As We Ascend also was heavily involved in, in the production of the video. And we went to Nashville and um, rented out this Airbnb, kind of a house type of thing. And the premise for the video is, um, it kind of chronicles what, what my life was like as somebody with disabilities. So um, we're in this kind of dark, dreary house and I'm feeling really trapped and everything. And then there's a series of flashbacks and the, the side story is my relationship with my father who was a preacher, but also very heavily abusive. And it depicts me writing letters to God and then having a series of flashbacks that kind of give people history and insight into what was going on in the backstory of my life. It's and brutal. So that kind of, the, the flashbacks yeah. are brutal. I don't mean to keep interrupting you, but the uh, the uh, flashbacks are pretty brutal. Like when I was watching, like there is like blood. Um, did uh, did you cut out? Are you still there? Yeah. Um, I, think I think we cut out for just a split okay. second, but I think we're still good. Yeah, there was like blood, like that's really happened, right? Yeah, I mean, it's really based in real life uh, and, and things that I that I experienced. Um, maybe some of the age stuff was uh, artistic liberty, but there was a lot of like different um, scenes where I'm like on the floor fighting and there's blood, you know, going on with my father and everything like that. And, and so... Yeah, it, it really, it was awesome to film, but it was also like kind of, I I also kind of ran into it with you where it was like hard to look back on and be like, man, that that is so reminiscent of my life and, and you know, things that went on. And so it was hard to watch, but I think in a way it's the most transparent I've ever been in um, any of my other projects, just really sharing those things that are you know, important to me in this video. And so I hope people relate to it and whatever they're going through um, and that they're in some way just touched by the realness of it. Yeah. So for um, for you with your disability, um, you have dyscalculia and... Yeah. yeah. And cerebral palsy. Yeah, it's cerebral and, palsy. Um, yeah, and, and the thing, it was the whole house idea for the... Um, the video was I was trapped in this house when I because I have this calcula I'm, I'm unable to drive so it really like there was a lot of things that stunted me socially and um, as far as just like trying to get out trying to live a normal life seeing a lot of people um, in my peer group surpassed me in huge life milestones and kind of the depression that comes with that and then you're dealing with you know, trying to figure out God, you see the great things that God does, because obviously your dad's a preacher, people get saved, people get healed, people, you know, are very touched by the message, but then you go home and you're trying to figure out like, what's real and what's not, because the same father that would preach with conviction from the pulpit would come home and just be very aggressive and, you know, abusive to us. So it was, it was a tough existence, but it's really, like I said, this video is going to touch on um, that subject in a way that I hope resonates with people. And, and I know it's dark, but it shows that God can step into your dark situation and turn it around for the good. Well, dude, I see a lot of people uh, online that, you know, release music. And I talk to a lot of people you know, the people that um, aren't on rock best records and I see them release music and I think there's a lot of great music coming out. But one thing that I feel like is missing is that vulnerability. And like, dude, yeah. I got to tell you, man, 
I'm super proud of you. I know these dudes are because we've been on tour mm-hmm. with you and we've seen you and we've seen how you interact with people. Um, and yeah. that's why all the people watching right now, you know, I'm asking you to to support Matt, man. Like you see his website up there, mattsasano.com, but I'm asking you to follow him on on his socials and show some love and show some support because what he's done is like, now that's courage to share Mm -hmm. about his story that deep and that painful, man, I, it was hard for me because I know his story, but when I saw that video, I, I was like, dude, I was in tears, man, because I know you and I know your family and I, but I will say that on, like I'm not asking for no sympathy follows. This dude's music is, it's. I mean, I'm telling you guys killed it on this EP, dude. Oh, thank you so much, man. Like I said, it was it was great to be able to work with the crew of people that I work with, and just like got like I really do feel like it was a guided process from God because I mean, literally the whole EP changed. I had one idea, and we make plans, and God laughs, right? And then so. It was really cool to see how we just this whole thing had a facelift and the songs came together like they did. Well, um, you know, the the people that are watching right now have that song now. What I would love to do if you post that song, it'll it'll block it. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to uh, to do you dirty. But does anybody know how to um shorten a song to 19 seconds if you are watching right now and you know how to sh- shorten a song to 19 seconds or a clip like a video sorry not a song i'm gonna uh i would love it if you did something really really cool for us um because i've already asked you to do a ton of things and uh marketing 101 is to not have too many calls to action we're not worried about marketing <laughs> we're just we're just chilling all of us it's just family hanging out um but if you want to do something really cool um that dropbox link that i sent you that has all the seven day slumber stuff and then that matt sasano folder man if you could like you can do it on your phone your iphone all you do is put that video onto your iphone and then like hit edit and then trim it down to 19 seconds okay because if you go any more than 19 seconds it's going to uh block you on facebook Not you, it'll block the song. But I really want y'all to help get this out. So it'd be amazing if you guys, um, I may even give a guitar away on this one, but um, I've got so many giveaways. Lori, are you writing all this down? Cool. (laughs) So, so, um, so here's what's happening. Um, It'd be cool if you, if y'all find a way to just trim it down to 19 seconds, the little video with the album cover that I gave you. It's in that link, okay? And all you have to do is just post it and put Matt Sassano's pre-save link, that that link that we've posted in here a bunch of different times. Um, And it'll be like found.ee Matt Sassano, right? So if you post that with 19-second clip of his video, I'm going to pick one winner to give a guitar away to, and I'm going to have Matt Sassano sign it and shoot on it may have the sds crew you know on it too but um but anyway um post it tag matt sasano so we can see that you posted it um you'll just post it on your facebook or post it on your instagram either one but tag matt sasano it doesn't matter if you post it on both you get two chances to win but i'm gonna pick one person to get that guitar but i'm also but don't worry because there's a bunch of chances to win okay like uh you'll win shirts i'm gonna hook somebody up with um some really cool um stuff from matt sasano and rockfest records uh, i'm gonna hook you up with the rockfest Records shirts as well and matt sasano so um there's been a lot of stuff we've talked about here today i said to post a that screenshot of us and gunther and to follow mob dog capone but uh, when you post that picture, say something nice about us, and you get a chance to win a bunch of Seventh Day Slumber stuff. Um, and then I have now told y'all to 19 second clip of Matt Sasano, 
Um, and make sure you post that Foundy link, uh, his pre-save link on there as well, and tag mm -hmm. Matt, either on Instagram mm -hmm. or Facebook. And that's a guitar. I'm going to hook you up with a guitar. Um, I'm not sure. It probably won't be that guitar, but it, it may be. And we're already getting messages. I'm seeing them on my phone. So thank you guys for helping out. Yeah. So that's that's what we want to see, man. We want to see people supporting. Like this message is too powerful and too strong to not share it with people and also not to support, like to support Matt and 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 all the Rockfest artists. We have some amazing Rockfest artists. Yeah. And so it's so important that you're showing love. And I'm not just saying to only Rockfest artists. Any artist that you out, see out there doing great, doing big things for God, man, and, um, you know, putting out great music and stuff, make sure you're showing them love. Make sure you're supporting them. Uh, but Matt is has been doing this a long time without getting the recognition that we believe he deserves. Um, and I'm not saying that in a prideful way, like, oh, I deserve this. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm saying that I've seen him serve, work hard, and and he's done so many different events where he didn't even get a dime, or, you know, he's even had to, you know, just, just like a lot of artists where they've even lost money or spent money to be on a tour or an event, and just to serve, just to, sure. just to minister to people. And so, Matt, I just, I'm super proud of you. I was honored to sign you to Rockfest Records. And I'm, I'm excited about this EP, you know? Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much. And again, shout out to all the people on Rockfest, man. It's great to work with such great people. And I'm rocking the old Rockfest shirt right now. So I'm, I'm representing, man, as always. And uh, so thank you guys for your support. Thank you for sharing my stuff and, and just getting this message out there. Well, it's an honor. I'm actually, um, I'm actually getting ready to, to give all of the Rockfest roster a shout out. Okay, so I literally had to go. It's sad that I had to go to RockfestRecords.com <laughs> to see what our roster is because the last thing I want to do is forget anybody. I love every single artist on Rockfest Records. Yeah. Um, so, um, and by the way, if you go to RockfestRecords.com, you'll be able to see our artist roster. But um, yeah, we have on Rockfest Records, obviously, Seventh Day Slumber, Fire Flight, The Protest mm -hmm. is on Rockfest Records, The Letter Black is on Rockfest Records, Relent, which y'all saw Miggy uh, on here, Relent is on Rockfest Records, Amongst the Giants, ooh, they got some fire new stuff coming out too, I, I forgot to mention that, Amongst the Giants, uh, GFM, the GFM band, Gold Frankincense and Myrrh, Living Scars, and of course, last but certainly not least, Matt Sassano. And, uh, <laughs> All right, man. Thank that's you. A, that's a heavy duty roster right yeah. there. Um, and we do have some big Rockfest announcements. We we also have a couple of bands we have not announced that are signed to Rockfest Records. So for those of you that were asking about what is this big Rockfest uh, Records announcement, well, obviously it's new Matt Sassano, but. Um, and new amongst the giants, uh, new relent actually coming out, new living scars coming out, um, a new the letter black. Um, uh, who else is new? What are we? I'm I'm missing some. Oh, the the protest, new the protest. Um, but we also have two new artists that nobody knows about. One of them is gonna blow your mind. One of them is literally gonna blow your mind. And uh, we actually just finished their record and we no one knows about them yet um but we, well you know you you'll know but no one knows that they're on rock fest and no one there's there's i can't I, i've said too much i haven't <laughs> said enough uh anyway all right well um make sure that y'all are following matt sasano on his instagram his facebook tagging him make a 19 second video um of the thing that was free in our um you know in our little link i don't care if you share that link with people um it's all good there are leaks for sure but hey man maybe right. somebody will um be be touched mm -hmm. hey matt so just real quick like yeah. somebody that may be watching that's struggling 
um, maybe they have a disability or maybe they're struggling with mental health or, you know, maybe depression has, cause you've dealt mm-hmm. with depression. You've dealt with all of these different, as I, I have too, but, uh, but like, what would you say to somebody who is struggling? Maybe they have a disability or maybe they have, uh, maybe they don't have a disability, but they're, they're just in a bad situation and feeling like, like they just can't accomplish the things that they wanted to accomplish. Oh man, you know, it's definitely a process for me. I can't say that I wake up every single day, like, you know, walking on sunshine, but at the same time, man, it's like important to confront those things. You know what I mean? If you're going through a depressed, in a depressed state, it's easy just to kind of want to go it alone and, you know, sleep all day or, you know, do whatever you do and just not bring attention to it. But I encourage everybody, man, no problem goes away by not acknowledging it. So try to reach out to a friend, try to reach out to a trusted church, uh, a person or a counselor and really take it head on. Because I know that like, you know, it seems basic and it seems like, oh yeah, we'll reach out. But that is really the first step in, in, in just ca- tackling the monsters, just reaching out, doing that one simple act where you can get accountability and help. And that's what I would really, um, encourage it's just that one simple act don't feel like you have to go through it alone don't just wait on it and and hope that it gets better tomorrow without any action you know what i mean and so i would just encourage you to reach out well um i uh i know that there's a lot of people that have just suffered in silence and yeah didn't, didn't reach out and um you know Praying, obviously praying is the first thing, but, but we're talking oh, yeah. about, we're talking about a lot of you have prayed. You've had the dear God letters, dear God, you know, and, uh, and you've prayed, but also it requires action. It require, yes. you know, that's the thing about prayer is like when I was struggling with my alcoholism and a lot of, a lot of you know that even after I became a Christian, I fell and I ended up with a serious alcohol addiction. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'd be like, God, take this from me. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be a, you know, but I didn't take the steps necessary and yes. I kept it inside. And God's like, I, I got you, but what are you willing to invest in your own healing? Yeah, it is funny because it's like when I was going through the abuse and everything like that, when I was living in it, I didn't, you know, when you're living in something so long, you don't call it what it is because you're just used to that. And so when I was in therapy, I was always under the impression like, yeah, it wasn't really abuse. It wasn't really that bad. It wasn't. And then it finally took a counselor to tell me like, so explain your situation again. Yeah, you've been abused, man. And so from then on, by calling things what they actually are, it enabled me to empower myself to get out of that situation. If you're living in depression and you're justifying it, or if you're living in abuse and you're justifying it or, you know, calling it something other than what it is, it, it, it makes that journey out of it that much harder. And I wonder how many of you watching right now are living in a situation where you're not calling it what it is. And, yeah. and, and maybe you do know what it is, but you don't want to say it because then it requires action after that. Um, and, and, and you may be, and you may be scared of the action it requires. I've been there. It's crazy because there were, I, I loved Jesus with my whole heart, but here I am running to alcohol and mm-hmm. I was afraid to say that I had become an alcoholic. I was afraid to call the thing what it is. And um, because, you know, this is my oldest son, Blaze. He's about to be 21 this uh, in August. And I never wanted my kids to see me weak. And for me to say I'm an alcoholic, how weak is that? That's what I was thinking. Right. Mm-hmm. But you know what's even weaker is my kid seeing his dad drunk after praying mm-hmm. with people. That's that's weaker. That's, and, and so, um, so I had to come to a place where, um, I came, came to a place where someone said they can't hear me. I, I think, 
okay, okay. So I had to come to a place where, um, where I was like, I have to admit what's going on. I have to call the thing what it is. And, um, yeah. and when I did that, it, it, a couple of things happened. Uh, number one, it, it made me face it. And, um, number two, it, uh, it allowed me to start making changes, uh, because now I've, I've admitted that's the thing. And if I don't make changes, then, you know, yeah. here I am saying I got this problem and I'm not doing anything about it. And so, absolutely, yeah, I, I think that's great. I think that's great advice. And, um, and man, I, I got love for you, bro. I'm, I'm super thankful for you and for your family. You know, we Thank call you. Matt Tiger Claw and uh, <laughs> that's his name he got on tour. And if I told you why, we'd have to kill you. I mean, it's just <laughs> his name is Tiger Claw. And, uh, and so we got, where's Sensei Steve at? Is he in here? He he's out and about right now. I gotta find out where he is, but right. um, yeah, he's Sensei he's Steve. a busybody all the time. As you see on tour, he's always milling around doing something. So Matt told you he because of his disability he can't drive, and there's there's Sensei Steve right there. <laughs> Sensei there Steve, that's Matt's tour manager and uh, yeah. you know road manager, and does all he does a, does a ton for him and 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 Matt's mom is super involved as well um and so Janelle and so we we're like dude um you got a whole team behind you man that love you yeah. and just know you got a rock fest team behind you too uh that love you but Matt we gave him the name Tiger Claw on tour so that's not a name Matt came up with by the way if you come up with your own nickname um <laughs> It's not cool. Mine have been failed so far. I, I'm I'm digging the whole tiger claw thing. It's 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 working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, tiger claw and sensei Steve. Uh, yeah, but, man. <laughs> you know you can't give yourself your own nickname. You got it for your nickname to be legit, dude. You gotta um, yeah. you gotta. There's Gary Rodriguez says we love you both. Oh, thank you, Gary. What's up, man? <laughs> but yeah, you gotta. Your nickname has to come from from some. It has to be stowed, be bestowed upon you, Weston says. Uh, yeah, Tiger Claw. I don't know. Yeah, man. Going. I mean, it's been awesome. I don't know if anybody is following on my Facebook, but on Fourth of July, I got my face all painted like a tiger. I was rocking that, man, and you know, not intimidating at all. But we enjoyed it. <laughs> it, def it definitely wasn't intimidating. But just like when we were, we were, we were in, pr we did some prisons. Uh, and Matt, you're getting ready to go do some, some prisons here yeah. soon. Um, but, but we just did some prisons. It was, it was, we were putting on full events, man. Like they were letting us do the full concert, like sound system, <laughs> everything. But Matt, yeah. so Matt performed before us at the prisons. And when I got on there, I said, let's have a big round of applause for Matt. And we had already been calling him Tiger Claw on this tour. We have our, yeah. prisons. but, uh. But anyway, um, so we were we were on there and uh, and we said give a big shout out to Matt Sassano, um, and I said uh, and everybody was like super stoked about Matt. All those prisoners, maximum security prison man, they were like uh, dude, they were awesome. loving it. Matt Sassano, dude, they were cheering him on. <laughs> but anyway, I said he goes by the name Tiger Claw on the streets. Don't ask me why, dude. Those prisoners uh, didn't buy it at all. They were started laughing, man. They started laughing, but they don't know what we know, Matt. All right. Yeah, man. They don't know about my street credibility, man. That's I'm... right. That's actually called street cred. But if you want to say the full name credibility, that's how we know it's not street cred is when you call it I just street credibility. all my cred just now. <laughs> yeah, you just threw it away. That's how they know about my street credibility. <laughs> oh, Matt. We love you, dude. We love you. <laughs> hey, I'm oh, getting, I'm getting ready to end this live right now. Um, but you heard some new Seventh Day Slumber. Uh, you heard you well. You didn't hear it on here, but the new Matt Sasano is in your link. So if you're just tuning in, you can just uh, comment on here SDS Rocks, and you'll get that link. Um, so 
Yeah, it, it, it'll end up in your um, messenger if you just comment STS rocks, right? So, yeah, any last words, uh, Matt? Yeah, man, just wanting to thank everybody for the continued support. I look forward to hitting you up on Instagram or anywhere on the socials. Um, I'm always on there. And so feel free to drop me a message, even if it's if it's lighthearted or if you need somebody just to chat with about something that you're going through. I always, you know, I'm always around to, you know, try to help you as best I can or if you, for you to somebody who can help. So, um, yeah, hit me up anytime. Cool. You guys got anything y'all want to say? Don't send him a message if, it, if you're trying to hack his Facebook. Don't send him a fake message. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's don't be, don't, Matt's, Matt's Facebook was hacked. Uh, that was a nightmare for you. Oh, my gosh, man. Yeah. I mean, do not. If anybody ever asks you to put you on a trusted contacts list, don't do it. Because I was on tour kind of paying half attention. And um, somebody asked me that. And the next thing I know, I was logged out of my Facebook. And some of you guys know because you got messages asking you like weird, like, are you my true fan? Which is not how I talk. So it was just really weird. And I kept getting messages. And yeah, you don't want to get hacked. So it was, it hurt my credibility. Yes, it did. It hurt your credibility, <laughs> dog. They messed up his street credibility, dude. <laughs> oh well oh well matt that's okay you got you you're you got uh tiger claw and his mom got in the mix and went in there and um hacked the hacker which is we did man we finally took him down with the tiger claw man i'm glad and so all the messages that you've been getting are are authentically me now and i'm excited about that I love that. We took him down with the tiger claw. And I'm not kidding when he says they took him down with the tiger claw. They literally hacked the hacker. Like, they brought on a hacker to hack. Yeah, we did. We had to hire somebody to get the hacker out because he was just sending a bunch of messages to people that support me and, and, and all that, saying all this weird, bizarre stuff. And so if you got a bizarre message, that was not me by any means. And so now it's all me and... All I, can say, can't wait to hear you. all I can say is when you say uh, street credibility and we feel like you lost it by saying that, I'm going to give you your street credibility back. Anybody that hires anonymous to go and attack a hacker that hacked them gets street cred. So I want everybody to give a hand clap to Matt Sassano bringing on anonymous to go and get the uh the hacker and that really happened they have a hacker that hacked the hacker that's we had to man because that guy was like really brazen too he was cocky he was like calling people th through facetime blowing kisses to my girlfriend i'm like this ain't happening anymore we ain't doing this anymore so i we call it anonymous we're bringing in anonymous dude with the masks and everything i don't know if any of y'all know who anonymous is but dude they, they, yeah. they, they got in there and got real gangster with it, real tiger claw with it. All right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, dude, that's, that's amazing, man. Well, much love, dude. We're getting ready to, we're getting ready to hop off. So remember hey, SDS rocks in the comments. You're going to get that link. Uh, remember to post that screenshot of us and the dog Gunther. If you just joined us, then go back and find that probably halfway through this video or somewhere. No, early on in the video, probably within the first 15 20 minutes we have a dog on there and uh screenshot that post it say something tag us say something nice about seventh day slumber and go follow mob dog capone but make sure you're following matt sasano and clicking on his pre-save we love you guys we out